Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile. Since last time I did some inventory cleanup stuff that I should really do in between episodes but I often forget and don't. I also went ahead and I had one Grand Life Flask, the next better flask, and I grabbed one off of uh, Clarissa over here. She's the kind of ring flask vendor person in Act 3. I threw two orbs of transmutation on these, got a uh, bubbling flask, it, it heals less but it's instant, or it partially instant and some stuff in addition to that, as well as a grand flask of iron skin for some extra armor while it's in effect. So those will be handy to have. On that note, let's head back out today to the crematorium where we are going to be in search of Tolman, Clarissa's boyfriend, I think it's boyfriend, boyfriend or brother, lost in love, so in theory they're in love with each other, I can check momentarily as soon as the game decides to load, hey, come on, there we go, uh, fine, Tolman doesn't specify, either way, we're in search of Tolman, so let's get on with this. We'll find him either way, no matter what his relationship with Clarissa is. You know, heavy strike you, you're dead now. Drop this. Well, that sounds fun. Something screaming in the background. It might be a little on the soft side, but yeah, someone's screaming. And we're in a dead end. One of many dead ends. Oh boy, will there be many of them as time goes on. My little stupid arbitrary goal for today is to not comment on every pack of enemies I come across. Oh, this is a decent sized pack. Oh, this too is a decent sized pack. I should kill them. Oh, hey, this group of guys is decent also. Alright, there's a skeleton in the back who is making everything over there invulnerable. I can't kill the invulnerable boss guy. I can't kill anything in this pack. So I gotta kill this, this particular skeleton. Which is not gonna happen. Alright, plan B. This is one of these packs of mobs that if this were not or if this were a hardcore difficulty game, you would not even bother with. You'd be like, hey, yeah, that's not happening. It's software, I can and on normal even, so it's like no experience loss or anything yet. So who cares? I can go die against these things a couple times. Why the hell not? Right, let's get rid of these guys. I have an idea here too. Let's grab this stuff. Kinda dart someplace sort of safe. Find something with fire resist. Drink some potion flasks quickly so I don't die. More than I already was. And with my now slightly increased fire resistances, hopefully we have to handle this stuff. Emphasis on hopefully. Here's the guy who's casting the aura. As soon as I kill him, I can kill everything else real easily. There we go. Now you guys are all gonna die. And I can kill the other boss too while I'm here. These giant earth elementals have just insanely high amounts of hit points relative to everything else. Of course, not running out of mana and actually using Heavy Strike rather than a plain old melee attack does help speed things along a little bit. That's another boss, damn. For him, any of his friends come over here, I'll just kind of deal with both simultaneously. God, this room. What's my fire resistance sitting at? Uh, 40%. Yeah, it could be a lot higher. 
Just like at this point, it's just the principle of the matter, I have to kill the rest of these guys. Or at least the bosses and everything else. I'm gonna hang around in the corners. I'm not gonna chase down all the casters. That's just too much work. But everything else definitely must die. Let's not stand on the ignited floor. That would be a good thing to not do. Get some elites mixing themselves in here. And if I could make up my mind as to whether I want to go the high route or the low route. And this time they should die. God, there's another rare mob in here. What the hell? This room is insane. It's four total, one with an invulnerability aura to top everything else off. Jeez. Yeah, you come across a room like this on some sort of hardcore difficulty, just run. Run as fast as you can away from it. On the topic of hardcore difficulties, I might be doing some odd videos here and there. In theory, Time Warner finally fixed my internet connect connection issues. A little longer to tell if it's actually fixed, but it turns out that the guy who installed it originally added about 20 feet of extra coaxial cable and an extra four splitters on the cable for no reason. Don't know why. It was all new stuff. It wasn't like he was just like um, piggybacking on old stuff that had been laid out beforehand. He just had no clue what he was doing apparently. And there's still a nice tied up spool of about an extra 10 feet of cable sitting up on the pole that should not be there. But everything looks all nice and smooth now. All my uh, power margins and stuff like that. I almost said power levels. I think they are actually called power levels, not margins. Are now where they should be. As like I recommended, not like, well, they are okay. They are actually like what they should be. And I need to get the hell out of this area and get more fire resist. Everything's good in that. Not having any, having less errors in the connection, so. Hardcore stuff, maybe in the future, for better or worse. Why am I here? Yes, rings. I what definitely need more fire resist for this place. Now look, no fire resistant stuff. Sixteen percent. I want more than. Do I need more than sixteen? Forty, fifty-six. Yeah, I need more than sixteen. Be careful. To act two to check out. Nessa's. Or is it Lena? Lena. I think it's Lena. Going with Lena. We'll see how this turns out. Yina. I was not Hello. right. Fire resist. Yay. And you know what? For the hell of it, I will use one of my very few. Hey, lightning resistant. 2% physical attack damage leached his life. That's actually nice. We'll not lose that that swap. Now we can head back to Act 3. Head back to the crematorium. And now kick ass with our f almost maxed out resistances. Almost 64. Still a lot better than it was. And apparently I'm just still getting my ass kicked. Oh look, I'm out of mana again. Oh, and there's a necromancer hiding in the back, just to make things more interesting and annoying. There's two necromancers, for that matter. And I die again. So... Really not liking this place. Let's see, what level actually is this? 28, I am 27, so I'm slightly under level, not like... Yeah, stuff. Alright. So what are we going to do about this? I've died now twice in this episode for a total of six times. That's an average of like one and a half times an episode. No, no, no. One every other episode. Yay, math. And just a unique guy. Going to kill him, get the achievement marker completion thing out of the way. Long, slow, boring killing of this guy. Uh, 
Yeah, we got some something out of it at least. The mana is gone. Kill the boss. Alright, good enough. Moving on again. Let's gonna get the hell off this floor. This floor has not been kind to us. The biggest factor, really, I think, is just the fact that I'm getting ignited, which is basically nullifying my health lasts. So, my only healing is actually coming from spamming that bubbling flask. Bubbling flask, yes. With that little bit of instant healing. Other than that, I'm pretty much on my own, which is not great. I killed that stuff in hopes of going through what I thought was a door, which turned out to be a wall. Go me. Alright, I'm guessing the exit's up here. We'll go up here this time. I really just don't want to go back to where I died. Just don't want to. Need swords up one handed, two handed. Lots of slots. Eh. Nothing special, but that's superior royal bow. 10%. Sh sure, I ended up picking up the sword anyway. And I just found out why I'm having so damn much trouble in this area. Or, well, at least why I'm having a harder time on this area. Apparently, I was using that other stupid, uh... Gem? Or... Weapon set slot thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, this works a lot better now. Now I'm going to intentionally try to go back to that room. It's like revenge time. So, pro tip of the day. Use the correct weapon. Yeah, slip's dying a, uh, a lot quicker now. When I actually have mana to hit them. And beer back just one second. And we're back. I tell you to come oh, no. son, and here you are. Put the stray puppy down, boys. Oh no. Should probably swap to lightning resist for this, but eh, who has the time for that? It's like after all this wrong weapon stuff, it's like revenge time. I'm just gonna kick the crap out of piety. Yeah, what are you doing? You run, yeah. Keep running. You're gonna end up in a corner and not be able to run anymore. And we're just gonna heavy strike the crap out of you. Of gone. And she jumped into a portal that was kind of hidden behind the wall. Now yeah, we found Tolman. He's not looking too hot there at the moment. He's dead. Found his bracelet. We should bring that to Clarissa. We should also get our blood drinker, life leech node thing on the skill tree because we can. All right, let's get the hell out of this place. Ah, uh, where's Clarissa? There she is. <laughs> Poor Tolman. I need to give you something. I asked him. Really, they couldn't have kept that going. Oh, if you want to read that, you can. Or... Those keys unlock the gates to the sewers. Tolman found them. 
I take back what I said last time. I was pretty sure the game lets you uh, Clarissa pesters me with run off. More. There's only so much broth, so many boats. I walked halfway across this forsaken continent because of an ode. Of jewels and a Tread carefully. Yeah. I don't, I'm undecided about the lore stuff, the text speaking, what have you. Alright, for dealing with that, helping out Clarissa, we get a skill gem of some sort or another. Dominating blow, we don't have intelligence for, don't have intelligence, don't have dex, don't have intelligence, so we're left between the Cyclone, Rejuvenation Totem, Enduring Cry, and Warlord's Mark. It is time to get Enduring Cry. It has been long enough General without Revisius it. Demands. How about you, Hargan? What do you have to say? Um, the power of the time. Some stuff. Indeed. I am lacking slots. Leap Slam, Warlord's Mark, Heavy Strike stuff, ground slam. Really not going to be using a whole lot of ground slam, in all honesty. That can come out in exchange for Enduring Cry, which is extremely, extremely useful. And we will be demonstrating that next time. We have a couple more quests that we'll also go over next time, because I'm not sure where we're going yet. For now, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have a great day.